Today I'm going to be telling you guys about the reality of programming. I know a lot of you that are just getting started in software development, or maybe you've been around for a while and you've, you've sort of kind of realized that the truth might be different than what you thought it was. Uh, I'm going to give you kind of a reality check here and tell you what it, it really is like to be a software developer. I was a software developer for 15 years. I coach a lot of developers. I own simpleprogrammer.com and I, I write articles on there and I deal a lot with developers. So I'm pretty familiar with a lot of different development environments, a lot of different programming languages. Welcome, you're in the right place for developers, anyone who is interested in developing their soft skills as well as their technical skills and becoming a better software developer, making more money in their career, connecting with other people who are interested in the same, just like-minded community of really good people, really good developers. So make sure you click that subscribe button if you haven't already and click the bell so you get notifications. I think a lot of people, right, when they think about becoming a programmer or taking a software development job, they think that what they're gonna do is they're gonna sit and they're gonna write code all day and they're gonna write new code. And that's not exactly the reality. Now, I'm not saying that you can't ever have a job doing that, but in the 15 years that I was a software developer, I never just sat down and wrote, wrote code all day. That never happened. That was not the reality. That, it might have happened for a day or two, but the, the day to day did not look anything like that. And that's because I think a lot of people misunderstand what the role of a software developer is. It's not just to write code. It's to solve problems. It's to automate the solution to problems more specifically. That's what programming is. A large portion of that is going to be thinking about the problem. The reality of the situation is that what you're probably going to do in your programming job is you're going to spend a lot of time in meetings, okay, because you have to get the domain knowledge. You have to understand what is the problem that you're trying to solve, okay, and you need some organization. You're working with different people. You're dividing up tasks. You have to understand really what is this big thing that we're trying to build here. So that's a lot of it. A lot of it is going to be thinking. You're gonna be figuring out what you need to do. It's not like you're just gonna sit and write code. A lot of times you're gonna be solving issues. You're gonna be thinking about the best way to do things. You're gonna be talking with colleagues about this because you're not writing a simple program in many cases like you are when you might be writing on your own or you're learning how to program. You've got a complex program with a lot of interactions, a lot of people. Uh, a lot of times it's gonna be legacy code. What does that mean? It means that the code is, base has been around for a long time. It's not a new thing. It's not a new uh, software that you're creating. Sometimes it is and that's great when you get to work on a greenfield project, but most of the time it's going to be brownfield, meaning that it's been around for a while. So there's a lot of bugs. There's a, there's a lot of issues. Uh, you're going to have to spend more time interpreting someone else's code and dealing with it than you will creating new code. You're going to be fixing bugs, all right? Fixing bugs is not something that they tell you that, uh, that you're going to be doing, but you're going to be spending a lot of time doing that because a lot of of software development, more time is spent in, in, the, in the phase of software development in the maintenance phase, which means that the, the code is already out there, it's shipped, it's already in production, customers are already using it, and it's being maintained, okay? More time is spent during that phase than any other period, right? You create the software, you test the software, you release the software, but you maintain it for a long period of time. The other thing you're gonna be doing is answering a lot of emails, okay? <laughs> it's just gonna happen. You're gonna have to do regular work and deal with politics. You're gonna do a lot of design. That might be fun, you might enjoy that going and coming up with ideas on whiteboards, uh, going into meetings, discussing things with, with people and, uh, and whatnot. So that's kind of really what the reality is, right? Is that you're gonna be spending a lot of time really thinking things through. Uh, you're gonna be rewriting your code. You're gonna be fixing bugs. You're gonna be doing you know kind of paperwork as you follow up, as you follow the process to go through the bug fix cycle and to, uh, to log defects as you, as you find things, you know, write, writing some tests, helping out with some testing. There's a lot more than just sitting there and, and writing code. The problems that you work on are gonna be a lot different than probably what you think of. Because, because a lot of times in the hypothetical world of software development where you're learning to, to write code, the problems are not realistic to, to the reality. They're gonna have clear solutions, okay? As a software developer, writing code in a real environment, there is no clear best way to do things a lot of times. It's gonna be up to you, you're gonna to have to decide. You have to spend a lot of time learning and reading books. And you know, you may think that you become a software developer and you just know how to write code, but that's far from the truth. So much of your time is gonna be spent going and researching things, reading blog posts, 
reading articles, reading books on software development so that you can learn how to use the new technology, right? Looking up the APIs and documentation and stuff like that, especially today when we have so many libraries and frameworks, you have to stay up to date on these things and that's really what's gonna improve your ability as a software developer. I don't wanna paint a, a bleary picture. Software development is great. I, I love being a software developer. I had a lot of fun doing it. It was a very enjoyable experience, a very rewarding experience to be able to write code, to be able to see the code that I that I written, that other people are able to use that, that I've actually created something uh, to just you know be there solving problems every day, right? Uh, but I, I just wanna prepare you. I want you to know that you're not just gonna be sitting there just pounding out code. It's, it's gonna be a lot more things but overall, you know, your goal is to create the software. It's not just to write code. Uh, anyone, well, I won't say anyone can do that, but that could be outsourced. If you're a software developer, a software engineer, your job is to like really to solve the problem. And if you, if you keep that in mind, you won't be frustrated. Because when I started in this field, I was frustrated. I said, well, I just want to write code. <laughs> Why can't I just write code? And I didn't understand. You know, I got plenty of time to write code eventually, but but in in reality, there was a lot more to the job than that. And uh, I will say this, if you if you don't like learning, then you should really get out of this field because you're going to be spending a lot of time learning because there's always new things uh, coming up and new technologies. So make sure, again, that you click that subscribe button so you stay up to date. I'll talk to you next time. Take care.